saying in regards to tzedakah when a person gives it and what's the value that we learned from Rabbi Akiva. There's a minhag that some Jews still keep, some don't, that when a uh, couple gets married on their day of uh, the uh, wedding, they fast. It's a minhag, it's not a lacha. We didn't do it. Uh, and uh, generally speaking, not everybody does it. Some people choose to do it. Now, the daughter of Rabbi Akiva did it. Kamala says, daughter of Rabbi Akiva is getting married, and her and her groom, her husband to be, fasted all day. Fast, fast, fast. They had a celebration, big celebration. Baruch Hashem, of course. There's no mixed dancing, there's no mixed nothing. Holy of holies. But now at some point, the event is taking a break, so the, the bride wants to get something to eat. So they give her our meal. She's excited to eat, she hasn't eaten the whole day, it's already night, she's starving to death. She goes to her room, you know, she can't eat in front of people, she goes to her room to go eat. And right before when she goes into the door, she's ready, she's about to, like, you know, it's a nice... To, to, to bride, you're going to give her a nice meal, right? After all, she paid for the whole wedding. She's excited. At that time, she's excited. She's going to have a meal. She's really excited. Her father, on the other hand, the Biakiva, is not excited at all. Why is he not excited? Because he had Ruach HaKodesh. And he saw through Ruach HaKodesh that his daughter was going to die. On the day she gets married. So everybody's happy. And he hasn't told anybody. Everybody's happy, celebrating, Siman Tov, Mazal Tov, Siman Tov, Mazal Tov. And Rabbi Akiva is eating his heart out the whole time. He says, Hashem, Hashem, please, Akadosh Baruch Hu, please, 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 please. But he knows he can't do nothing. Why? The decree is already signed. He knows that at the end of the day, his daughter is gone, Akadosh Baruch Hu is taking a neshama, do it, go, 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 go up to heaven. That's it, finished. So he's happy, but he's unhappy. As you would know it, she is about to have her meal, and suddenly, somebody knocks on the door. She gets up, still without having a single bite, opens the door, and sees some poor guy asking for money. You have something, it's taka, it's taka. He says, I don't have pockets, I don't have any money, but uh, okay, here, take food. Oh, food, okay, that's why I want to stock, I want to buy food. She gives him the food. She gives him the food. She's starving, but what are you going to do? The guy, poor guy, looked disheveled. She gave him the food. I'll find food another time. At least I'll get some rest. So she gives him the food, he goes on his way, she closes the door, she sits down, she takes the pin out of her hair. That was, she had her hair done. She takes the pin out of her hair and she sticks it in the wall right next to the door. And she sits down. A little while later, she gets up, she opens the door. She's our father, Rabbi Akiva. Oh, Abba. He goes, how? He looks at her, how? How are you still alive? Abba, are you Okay. You okay? He goes, no, no. How, what'd you do? He goes, tell me everything you did. She tells him, I came, I wanted to eat. I didn't eat. He goes, what happened with the food? No, some poor guy came. He wanted the food. He gave him the food? Yeah. It's a big stakao. Wow. But what else did you do? Nothing. I just sat here. I've been sitting here for the last half hour, relaxing. And uh, that's it. So Rabbi Akiva looks behind the door and he sees there's blood on the wall. He takes the pin out and connected to the pin comes through the wall a snake. The snake that was sent from heaven to kill her. And from there Rabbi Akiva says, here we see tzedakah tatzil mimavet. You give tzedakah, real tzedakah, it'll save your life even. Even if there was a decree in heaven that it's your time, 
you did such a big chesed, such a big thing. It was hard for you to do. It could even save your life. That's how valuable it is for a Kadosh Baruch Hu, for somebody to break their desires. Now, if you give some homeless guy $5 or a hamburger, don't expect that to change your life. Why? Because in this generation, first of all, we're rich in comparison to the previous generation. Second of all, you haven't been fasting. Third of all, not everybody has the same test. But the point being is that this is to show us how much a Kadosh Baruch Hu values when a person breaks their own character traits.